All right, thanks, Bell. Time now, 9.17, also time for In the Know. Now, of course, we work here at a broadcast news station, so a lot of us are journalists, and many of us who work here know how valuable the bonds are with our teachers. That's just throughout life at any stage. A new play at the Cornstock Theater highlights just how close things can become at different stages of life. I should say all of them, especially later on. Here to share more about Tuesdays with Maury is Tommy Rosecrans. Tommy, good morning, man. Good morning, John. All righty, so let's touch on something real quick, which is how heartwarming this plot is. For those who may not be familiar, explain a little bit of the premise here. Right. Uh there is a book based off of, uh, you know, Tuesdays with Maury, and then there was the play. So a lot of people have read it, and they automatically assume, like, oh, I know how it ends. Like, mm. uh, Maury dies. And that's how can that be heartwarming? Well, it's not just about death, this play. It's about life and experiencing all of life and be able to... Uh, reflect on the nuances that life itself brings. Absolutely. And let's talk a little bit about your role specifically, because it's a pretty, I should say, uh, tight dynamic between you and your co-star. You play a pretty select role here. What drew you to it specifically, and, and how does it really play out over the course of the story? Well, when I originally uh, read the script, I saw that a lot of people could actually relate more to Mitch Album, who's my character, uh, than they could Maury, because a lot of us go through life, uh, you know, work-focused and just mm. focused on the day-to-day, -day, and a lot of times we're not actually enjoying the, uh, you know, the, the nuances, and uh, we... It's just a good play to where we can stop and reflect on what actually matters. And I wanted to be able to help tell that story and to help other people reflect on that as well. Yeah, for sure. Something maybe a little more personal than, than some other rules in the past. Is this something that going into it, I mean, did you know it was going to be as maybe impactful as it actually is? I mean, what were your, kind of your impressions as you were creating this character? Well, uh, through the dialogue, Mitch kind of actually creates himself in a way in how he's written. Um, I know that, like, on the surface, um, I'm a lot more expressive and everything, uh, so that I kind of had to pull back. But I did see the busy side of myself in Mitch. That was very easy to pinpoint, and it, it did have to... It brought me in check, if that okay. makes sense. Interesting. See, there's a bit of a self-reflection there. Right? Absolutely. This sure. play will help you self-reflect. Okay. All right. So maybe not something that you're coming into expecting to have a laugh out loud good time you necessarily. Will, no, you'll definitely laugh. There are definitely good, some lighthearted moments good. for sure. But okay. we also want you to think. Absolutely. You want to make sure you <laughs> take the time to ponder life sometimes. We all need to do that. Absolutely. And Cornstock is so unique, too. I mean, this is something where uh, community members come through and get to sort of show off their acting chops, right? What's been the best part about being a part of the whole operation of Cornstock? I would say that being a part of the community. You know, I'm not the smartest guy. I'm not the, you know, the craftiest. But what I can do is I can use... Uh, well, this craft actually acting, uh, to be able to give back to the community that's given so much to myself. So Yeah. Oh, I love that. Okay. Again, a lot of self-reflection here, which I love. Getting deep every once in a while is a good thing, right? Absolutely. <laughs> we love that. All right, we're going to throw some information up on your screen. That is going to be running Friday and Saturday, and then it'll be on the 22nd and 23rd as well. Uh, we'll also have some information up online. Ticket prices are up there, too. Of course, check that out at Laura Bradley Park, a beautiful facility there. You know, hopefully with the weather we'll be having soon, Tommy, it'll be uh, good theater-watching weather. Yes, great theater weather. Yes, we'll take <laughs> it. We'll take it. Thanks so much for coming in, man. It was great chatting with you. Hey, thanks for having me. Absolutely. And, of course, if you or someone you know wants to join us on In The Know, go to 25newsnow.com slash community. Click the In The Know tab, submit the form. And, of course, we got some birthdays to celebrate today on top of our winner for our March Madness style bracket for best movie of 2023. Stick around to see who's coming out on top.